Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, today we're going to be, well, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. And then I'm going to do a little experiment. So right now with wearing masks and with wearing makeup and masks and mask me and everything, I want to find out exactly how important is setting spray and does setting spray really work? So today I'm gonna to put on my makeup and then I'm only going to spray one side of my face with setting spray. I'm going to be using the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. This one is rated one of the better ones. So I'm just gonna spray half of my face with it, then I'm gonna go on the road and go through you know various actions throughout the day and then we're going to compare and see i'm going to wear my mask as well because i have to go on the road and then i want to compare and see exactly is setting spray really worth it because the good ones can cost about 30 dollars on average so is it worth it should i bother all of that so stay tuned you know, i like to talk right okay so the next the, the next thing the first thing i want to do i'm actually trying a new primer today okay all right, you know what, hold on. We're gonna test out two different... This video is getting exciting. I like that. All right, so on the left, I have to write this down. I have to write this down because I am a forgetter. I am a forgetter. So we're gonna do left, left. Okay. On the left, we're going to use MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. And then on the right, we're going to use the one size secure the blur one size i think is a brand so i was hearing that when you team up the one size which i think you saw me use in a video before when you team up the one size with with charlotte tilsbury that they're a really good um they work really well together to um what you call it keep down the grease I, yo i get really great like oily like i get really oily so on saturday i was fixing up the playroom and building stuff and at the end of the day, I came up here and right here at the corners of my nose, there was so much grease and oil that was like dripping. Like it looked like grease boogle. Something all right? All right, that's not necessary. All right, edit that part out. That's nasty, that's nasty. You see, this video wasn't supposed to be like this. This video wasn't supposed to be just me chatting off my head. No, this video was supposed to be just me coming back to you to say, hey, but no, it just a chat off my head. All right. So let's do left side. We're going to do um, my MAC NC35 concealer under the eye. And we do have a MAC store in Jamaica. So any of these products that you see, they will have there. Or you can um, wait until, I think they're getting new stock soon actually. All right, so we have that look, that look even. That looks weird. And on the other side now, I'm going to use my Born This Way Multipurpose Sculpting Concealer. I'm going to need a beauty blender for this though. So. Alright, and after this, I'm going to put on my foundation and then I'll come back to you. I need to write this down. Mmm, isn't that cute? I'll be back. Alright guys, just doing a little check-in. Hold on. Does that look better? I don't... Hmm. Let me know in the comments. Do I do the vanity light on or off? I, I can't tell. I can't tell. So it's off now. Alright, so just to do a little check-in with... What does Tiffany Sam's want? That's not even her last name. Okay, Tiffany Sham. Um, okay, so. And now we're back. All right, so I've done my eyes, and on my eyes, since we're doing a comparison makeup video, on my left eye, I used my MAC 24 hour liquid liner. Um, and on my right eye, I used my Stella um, felt tip liquid li liner. So they're both felt tips. They're both black. And I did, so MAC over here, Stella over here. I'll let you know about that a little bit later on in the video. But what I did want to talk about is, so I was doing my brows. It's a little bit hard to tell because my brows need to pluck. So on my left brow, I used my MAC brow gel. And on my right brow, I used my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow gel. So first of all, with the MAC brow gel, um, they've done like a repackaging here. I almost didn't recognize it when I bought it, but whatever. So the formulation, the color is a lot darker. This is a color that I like. The Anastasia of Beverly Hills, it's almost this bronzy color. And my eyebrows aren't bronze. Next thing was the application. 
So one of the things, one of the main reasons why I don't like the Anastasia of Beverly Hills is not just the color, but also the brush. The brush for the MAC is here, that's your left, and the Anastasia of Beverly Hills is on the right. So the Anastasia of Beverly Hills, if you notice, on one side it has like a longer, like some longer teeth, and on the other side it's shorter, which I guess could be cool in terms of if you have some long bro you need for brush out, you just use that long side there. But then I find out, I find that the application, it doesn't go on very smooth. Sometimes they're a little bit, the things are too long. I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Gel. So, um, and also the color deposit. It doesn't deposit, maybe because it's lighter. I have to keep going over and over and over again. So if we compare right now, yes, right there needs to pluck out. That's not what we're looking at. So if you see, we have some dark brows. You know, looking still natural, but filled in. What was my point again? You know, to tell you the truth, the Anastasia side kind of, they look good still. This side is because what is this lump here? Anyway, I just don't like how the Anastasia of Beverly Hills, I don't like the application. I had to put on quite a few, um, quite a few. Let's put on a little bit more. So what we'll do is at the end of the day, we'll look and see which set of brows are still laid and looking good and then later tonight we will pluck them we won't pluck them i will pluck them all right and then um in moving on to the actual brow 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 on the left eye keeping with mac i'm trying out a new eyebrow styler crayon so this is like a i want to say like a wax pencil so it gave great color deposit. It's really cute. It has a little spoolie brush on the end. So I use that to just mark out my brows, do my tail a little longer, you know, like that nice long tail. And then I brush them in and then I set them with the brow gel. On the right side, I use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This has in, this is my favorite liquid brow pen. And I just um, filled in the shape. Actually, no, I used the older one. This one on that way, that one they're old. Still Anastasia, Anastasia, just very old. Must about two years old. And then I did my tail. So I have Mac on one side, Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And then I set it again with the brow um, thing. So that's how it looks. One side, Anastasia side. The only reason why this side don't look so good, you know, is because of this little hump. What is that? This one I'll pluck out later. All right, so we're moving on to the next thing. So I put on my bronzer. Now we're going to do some uh, blush. Yo, I have a video to film after this, you know, for Road Ready. And I'm going to have two sides of my face looking different. It's not good. Well, I do. Oh, no, I don't have a, a pink. Um, I don't have a pink MAC blush. I used to use Blush Baby by MAC, but that, that, that blush, me did have that for so long. All right, so moving on. I'm going to put on, um, right on the roses of my cheeks. Some pink, 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 pink. All right, there we go. Then we're going to blend. We are not doing anything. I am going to blend using my NARS Luster. It's my go-to blush. So I have on bronzer hair, the pink hair, and now I'm just going to, in between those two segments there, just rub in some MAC Luster. You know, I gotta build up on the cheek work there. All right, no problem, good to go. Here's a great comparison that we can do. So for the eyelashes, we're going to use MAC on one side and on the other side, we're going to use Charlotte Tilbury. So let's write this down. All right, I'll write this off camera. I'll write it off camera. So on the left eye, we have the MAC Extended Play Perm Me Up Lash. Just look like this. Very pretty, very, very, very pretty. And I'm going to put this on my left lash. Oh my God, this is a little sample. This is the Pillow Talk. Push Up Lashes by Charlotte. I saw her name, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury, yeah, Charlotte Tilbury. The first thing I noticed is that um, Charlotte not really going with nothing, you know. It's taking me very long to do any form of build up on the lash with the Charlotte Tilbury and I think that's because of um, the brush. So the brush is this, this lick of something here. Like honestly, give me some tis way bristles on my brush now, man. Gosh. Make me have to work for the little mascara in the bottle. Alright, so I'm just going to build it up, build it up. I like to work on the outside lashes so I can get that kind of winged look. Yeah man, right up my nose you gone. And then when you put too much, you end up getting these very pokey looking 
lashes all right no problem no problem we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work oh shoot am i showing anything can you see anything all right and then on the other side now back to the mac i'm just gonna put on a little bit more because i do like to let it dry for a second while i do the other eye and then come back over the longer the lashes are closer to god and then i'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash do i want to put a little eye um powder under there mickey and butter all right now to tell you the honest truth i like the charlotte tilbury for the um i like the charlotte tilbury for the lower lashes just simply because it doesn't do a lot of deposit um a lot of color deposit and then it separates the lashes when you don't do like a million layers and makes them long so it just looks very natural but for the top lashes i don't find that it's very like see lower lash there i hope i'm showing you something compared to lower lash over here you see what i mean we are getting close and personal today <laughs> not sure why i did that that was weird but okay oh i wanted to put a little bit of extra powder by my nose where like the grish color is that is that it i've done everything except lipstick i know that i know that all right so let's get out the setting spray all right so that's one way to save product oh wait wait i've always wanted to do this this is what the fancy girls do on their makeup videos all right so we're just gonna dry that okay all right so that's good to go I'm oh, oh, it does three speeds. I'm still trying to figure out, should I spray the other side of my face? All right, so I don't have, all right, okay, so that made it easy, all right, I don't have a MAC setting spray. Okay, so now I'm going to just brush up my hair, put on my outfit, and then I'll come to you to do lipstick, and then um, figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. This is us here, okay, cool. <laughs> I feel like I need more makeup. Okay, that means downstairs waiting to go on the road with me. So, um, let me fix up the rest of myself, and I'll be back. Oh, Alright, everybody, I'm just about to start filming. I have something to film for Road Ready, so this will be our first thing of the day, now that I'm ready. I did something inspired by Megan Thee Stallion with my lipstick. So, what I did was I used a darker lip liner than my lipstick. I think it looks good. And I'm just going to just powder down with my Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna do both sides because this is I don't want to look too I look really matte now though, eh? But I'm not. I'm not. I'm never matte. I'm always Jody. <laughs> Alright, just gonna mat down and I'm gonna start filming and then we're gonna go on the road with Miss Remy. And then I'll come back and give you Oh I need earrings. Maybe I change it, distract from this booby list licious. All right, I'll be back. Let's do some neck, let's do some neck. We need some powder on the neck because the neck just looking very, it just looking very exposed, you know? So if your boobs are out and looking very exposed, you just cover them with makeup. Look at, look at that, could go to church now. Yep, there we go. Arriba, caramba, arriba, ay, ay, ay. All right guys, so I just finished filming. And then, I don't know, you can't see much difference, no, not now, go on. Nothing is going on, everything is looking very matte and very nice. Except that, that little something right there. Alright, so we're heading on the road and I'm going to be putting on my mask now. And um, let's see if there's any shifting of any foundation or anything. So, see you soon, bye. Police is gone. Okay guys, we are at the first stop. Oh, you can't see Rim Rim. I'm going to put on my mask. I don't know, I think I should blot off some of this lipstick, you know. Remy, you have any tissue back there? No. What? Girl, we don't have no tissue. And you're the most messy. Oh, okay, let's take some attitude to tissue. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is blot off some of this lipstick so that it doesn't mush up, mush up in the mask. Because when I start talking, um, okay. And then let's put on the mask. 
All right, finished with my first stop. I don't see anything yet. I have to inspect Papa Leto. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, a quick check-in. We are, excuse you, sir. Okay, no need to hurry. Um, quick check-in. Um, we are in a hurry because certain people need to wee-wee. I did not wee-wee before they left the house. Certain people, say hi. Say hi to my channel. No. Say hi to the channel. Mommy's broken, mommy. You broke another one, Remy? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm heading home to do the comparison. Um, this is not very safe. I don't really feel comfortable filming while I'm no. driving. So, but I just wanted to give a little check-in. Um, and I would have given my check-in except I have to be on his now because I don't want to be cleaning up wee-wee out of a car seat. So when I go home, I will do a little comparison to see if the mask took off any makeup on the side that has the setting spray. Okay, bye. All right, everybody, we are halfway through the day. So I just want to go through any things that I've noticed with regards to one side of my face using mostly MAC products and the other side, random products. The other side, the right side, I also used a setting spray because I wanted to know what's the hype about? Like, do I really need to use a setting spray? Does it make a difference? So I decided to do one side with setting spray, one side without. Now, while I was on the road, this is my mask. And no, the transfer is about even. I don't know what you'd be able to see here. Not very much. You can't really see much there. But in being 100% honest, the, the transfer amount on the mask is the same. Um, and now to look on my face, I'm going to try and look for any lines of demarcation. Not demarcation, any lines from the mask. Still don't see anything. I'm not seeing like a you know you know what you know when my makeup used to come off the most when I was wearing a mask when I would sweat in the mask. I don't know. All right. Well, let's go through the products and I'll tell you what I liked about each over the other. Okay. So when we started off this morning, I used a Mac primer. So I used Mac on this side and I used one size on this side. Both sides look. I don't want to say pretty matte. Pretty matte. Matte is not the, a word I would use to describe my skin. Right now in looking, no. Okay, so there's a slight more of a sheen on the left side of my face, which is the MAC side, but that could be because of the setting spray. When I was putting on my makeup, to be 100% honest with you, I didn't even remember that I'd used two different um, primers. So to me, both work the same. We also did different concealers. So on the left side, I used my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And on the right hand side, I used Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Do we see anything going on? It's about the same. Again, I totally forgot while putting on my foundation that there was a, different in the, a difference of products in the sides. They both look pretty good to me, so. Next thing we used different, on the left side, we used the MAC 24 hour liner on the left and on the right, we used the Stella on the right. Now, I must say, I'm not sure if it's because the Stella is a little bit more dried out, but the application with this eye was a lot easier with the glide. And when you have the glide, you're able to make the wing a lot easier. When you don't have a glide, it kind of stop and start and you kind of have to redo it and um, the nib is all, nib nub, whatever you call it, the, the thing at the end, it's a little bit more dried out so it was kind of harder to make that line. They're both felt tip, they're both pointed. Um, I both got them around the same time but I preferred the MAC one a little bit more. So as you can see, I have like, look at that, look at that. And then over here, a man on a galloping horse would not notice any difference. No, what's the saying? A man on a galloping horse. Why is a man on a galloping horse looking at my makeup? I'd prefer the MAC eyeliner. All right. The next one that we have here was the um, MAC brow gel. And the color that I use is stud. Okay. <laughs> MAC brow gel in stud. And on the right hand side, we have the tinted brow gel from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. 
definitely, definitely prefer the MAC. It gives me way more color deposit. I like the brush. I was able to control the brow um, hairs a lot better. And I really like the brush on this. It's a lot shorter. Like I feel like I control my hand with it. I feel like I control the hairs. Um, I like the, the color. I like the distribution of the product from the brush to the lash. And I like the hold. When I'm looking here in terms of hold, both about the same. But because of the stranger, not stranger, it's like a bronzy color for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like it's called Espresso. The color is called Espresso. So you would think it would be a dark brown color, but it's yet this very bronzy color. So I have like when I'm looking here in the mirror, I'm, I see like a little patch where, you know, anyway, I prefer the MAC brow gel over the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Next thing that we use differently, why do I keep saying we? You did not help me. Well, well. Um, I used a MAC Genuine Aubergine Eyebrow Styler, color Surrealist. And it's like a wax crayon on one side, a spoolie on the other. And then on my right side, I use my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow pen. Um, now to me, I kind of find it a little bit harder to, um, compare simply because it's two different products not just a brand but this is a wax pencil see like them old time eyeliner you just um you twist it up it's a wax pencil and this one is a liquid liner if i was to use this this would be waterproof um it wouldn't fall down my face when I swim or whatever. I like that it was, it's kind of hard to compare because it's two different products. I find that with the liquid, the liquid, it doesn't have as deep of a color. So I would have to go over it a little bit more. And then the more I go over it and kind of paint it on, it more, it doesn't look like nat national. It doesn't look like natural brush strokes. It more looks like, you know, you kind of color and fill in. So, mm. To me, I'll interchange them, but yeah, I like them. And actually, it's the first time I'm using uh, the MAC brow pencil, and I do like it. Next thing we did that's different is mascara. So on the left-hand side, I used the MAC Extended Play Per Me Up Lash. And on the right-hand side, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up lash Lashes. So with the MAC, I got length and I didn't have to use, as I didn't have to dip it as much. And I find like the more you dip it is the more you're pushing air down into the product, into the container. And you'll make the, con the product in the container harder, which means it won't last as long. So I like that. You know, I just dip, put, 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 dip, put, 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 done. This one, it was dip, put, dip, put, dip, put, dip, put, dip, put. Um, but both of them give me nice long length. I would actually say that I have a little bit more length with the MAC um, extended play. And um, the more I kind of use this product, they kind of started to clump together. Um, and it took me less time to achieve the look with the MAC extended play. So, but what I do like, I do like the Charlotte um, Pillow Talk on the bottom lashes, just because it has more of that wispy natural look, but I do prefer the MAC mascara. As I said, for the setting spray, I'm not seeing too much of a difference, but I'm going to continue to look throughout the day and just see where we're at. Um, I'm going to reapply some lipstick and I'm going to pat down because we're going to be shooting shortly for um, Tuesdays with Tricky. So I'm just gonna pat down and see, and um, if I can remember, maybe tonight, you know when the, the oil are talking about in the crease of will start drip down? Yeah, I'll come to you then. Actually, that would be a good time to come to see because yo, my God, shine like, like Anyway, so those are the differences in the products used today. All right, everybody, that's so much it for my product my makeup product comparison video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw a couple of products that maybe you were considering buying. So now, you know, maybe you'll be like, okay, yeah, I could definitely get that. I could definitely try it. Or no, I don't really like how it look on Jodi at all. Like, mm, no, mm, no, 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 not gonna try. Or maybe I have introduced you to some products you didn't know about that you could try as well. Um, they're all pretty good products. I don't really have a problem with any of them. There's none here that I actually, except the Anastasia Brow Gel, would not be buying that again. 
um, are pretty good products and as I said we have a Mac store right here in Jamaica um, Barbican Road Sovereign Center so you can check that out and you can get some of the products that you've seen here today all right everybody that's it for my video and I will see you in the next video with an even face with the same makeup on this side as that side and spray splash everywhere all right everybody i hope you enjoyed the video drop some comments down below what do you think do you notice any differences maybe i'm not seeing something do you see grease on one side no grease on the other let me know drop a comment down below and um let me know what product did you see here that you'd be interested in trying bye guys <laughs>